Mast cell activation syndrome is an immunological condition with many different symptoms, making it difficult to diagnose and treat. But without the right treatment, the condition can be extremely debilitating. Mast Cell Action is a charity striving for earlier diagnosis and better treatment for patients by raising awareness of this condition. Lily has lived with the chronic symptoms of mast cell activation since she was born. These include constant tummy aches, nausea, bone and muscular pain and hives. Her excruciating back pain triggered by the environment meant she'd have to lie down and wait for her rescue medication to work. When we walk the dogs, I have to lie down suddenly on the grass and just have to wait for my back to come back. And I used to have to lie down on shop floors because of my back. And I had headaches as well and stuff like that. I could get itchy rashes. I could get hives, so they sting and are sometimes itchy. So I could get a reaction anywhere. Due to the complexity of her symptoms, it took her family years to find out what was wrong. It was heartbreaking because I could, my daughter, I, my baby was ill and I could tell that she was suffering and at times she'd beg me, you know, she'd lay on the bathroom floor and cry and say, Mum, please make it stop. And I would know that I was doing everything I could, but I couldn't get her the help she needed because either people weren't listening or nobody was adding it all together. And at one point, how many doctors were you seeing? So the most we had at one time was nine doctors and they were really spread out. So we'd have to go to Sheffield and London and Lincoln and Leicester and our local hospital. And um, Lily was missing a lot of school because of the appointments as well. But it was a haematologist with significant experience of mast cell disorders who made the connection between Lily's different symptoms. I think there probably is a genuine increase in number, but also we're probably recognising it more. As we develop more research in the area, as we demonstrate that there are similarities between well-recognised mast cell disorders and mast cell activation syndrome, uh, both in the uh, clinical presentations, uh, biochemically, um, uh, then, then we can hopefully show that this is um, not um, a, a syndrome that is just um, a mental health issue. Mastocytosis is a much rarer condition with well-defined criteria for its diagnosis. And um, a group uh, that had put those definitions together, those criteria together, um, advanced their their criteria to put it towards the muscle activation syndrome. It's only in the last few years that MCAS has been recognised as a medical condition in countries such as the US and other parts of Europe, with the UK even further behind. This is something Gwaine is working hard to change. He suffered with symptoms for more than 10 years before he was finally diagnosed with MCAS by a professor in the NHS in 2013. He set up the charity Mast Cell Action to help raise awareness of disorders resulting from mast cell activation and to support improvements in its diagnosis and research in the UK. I could no longer work, travel, I couldn't engage with family. I just withdrew into myself and I was, frank, quite frankly, I was, I was terrified and bewildered and nobody seemed to know what was going on. Germany and America have had biochemical testing to support MCAS diagnosis for probably over a decade. So they have patient cohorts, which you can start to categorize and describe and carry out research with. Um, we aren't there yet in the UK, which is something the charity would deeply love to try and help facilitate progress in. There's currently significant variation in access to medical support across the UK. People with suspected MCAS desperately need access to more multidisciplinary clinics. Without these, they risk spending years being passed around the NHS without diagnosis or treatment. I think more than anything, the UK would benefit from an open and uh, evidence-led debate involving patient case histories and patient experiences 
in the medical community. At the moment, the debate is it's not open and it's not out there. There's very little evidence on patient case histories being collected, globally, never mind in the UK. As so many MCAS patients know, a diagnosis and access to treatment can change their world. Often when um, they come along to clinic and they learn that they are going to be listened to, it's a huge relief to them. At least we can usually improve their, their lives. And when it comes to improving lives, Marcel Action hopes to make sure that, unlike Lillian Gwain, no one suffers unnecessarily and every voice is heard.